Well, I think this is the spot for tonight. Nice home cave, bit of a flat spot up here to, to park up. Yeah. Have a fire down here, spread all this stuff away. Oh, nice spot. Alrighty. Let's do it. Let's get set up. That's done. Don't know how many breaths that was, but I'm sure you could count it. But that's my Thermarest sleeping pad. So it's a new sleeping kit. It's my Spark SP0 from Sea to Summit. So you can see it's nice and light. I think it's 225 grams from memory, but you can see it's smaller than my head. So. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. It's it's rated uh, comfortable to 10 degrees. It is meant to get down to 7 degrees tonight. So I did bring my liner as well. Get the liner in there and it should be nice and toasty. So, yeah. And so my bag liner is this guy. So you see yeah, another Cedar Summit uh, thermo light reactor. Um, it's just a regular size since I'm just a regular size guy. But uh, yeah, that should be keeping me nice and toasty. So yeah, pretty keen to uh, test all this gear out. I'm not sure if you heard that, but the creaky, uh, creaky trees. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of this valley now. It's getting a bit windy down here. It's a bit more protected up where I'm at. So head up there, set up the fire pit, uh, maybe brew a coffee in the twig stove and get ready for some dinner. So yeah, go collect some firewood.
Bold. Man, I'm loving this spot. This is brilliant. Never slept in a cave before, so it'll be. I think it'll be interesting. See how it goes. It's only a few spider webs, so hopefully they just stick to their webs and. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is. They just creep me out. Spider. It must be the way they move. I don't know. Well, I'm happy picking them up out of the house and taking them outside, but. Yeah. I don't know, they just, they just creep me out. Everyone thinks it's funny because I'm a snake catcher. Happy to go play with the most venomous snakes in the world, but spiders, no. <laughs> just thinking about it creeps me out. Anyway, I'm going to get this fire going. What I brought with me food wise is I've got some zucchini, some carrot, some broccoli and some cauliflower. I also have some dehydrated mints. Some spices and a last second entry. Some two minute noodles. So, if you haven't guessed, I'm going to try and make a chow mein. Well, got darker there, quicker than I was expecting. Should have known because you have been in a bit of a gorge here and in a cave. Yeah, it's uh, likely to get dark quicker. Anyway, so here I am cooking the dark. But chow mein's nearly done. It's time for some seasoning on that.
Well, that's a bit warm. Let's grab that. Well, chow mein's done and uh, pretty keen to dig in. So I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me eat. So I'll um, catch up with you guys after a feed and yeah, see how we go. Well, fire's going well, belly's full, nice and warm. So I'm probably just going to watch, watch the fire for a little bit, get hypnotized by the flames as you do, and then hit the hay. See what tomorrow brings. But that chow mein, oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. Super tasty. I've never tried making it before, so I'm pretty impressed. Anyway, I'll catch you in the morning, guys. I'll just burn the last of those little sticks off. Have a bit of brekkie. I'm just got a banana and a mandarin, some fruit for breakfast. Finish my cuppa. Dismantle this and make it look like I was never here. So. Yeah, so I'll just enjoy a bit of heat from this, from this fire and then wait for it to cool all down and we'll get moving. Alright guys, thanks for coming along. That was a brilliant walk and a awesome overnight camp. So yeah, it was good to hear some some of the wildlife as well, which was really cool. Um, yeah, well thanks for coming along. I really appreciate watching the video. If you enjoyed it or have any questions, comment below and uh, yeah, why not subscribe while you're at it. Awesome guys, till next time. Catch ya.